Hi, in this video I will show you how you can seal the stitches afterwards. For this you need knitting work, needle and some yarn. Before starting, make sure that your work is on the same way on your hands as you knit it. Sting the needle one row below the place where you want to sieve. Right now, that place is in here. Then skip a one row and sting the needle one row above like this and then come back to the place where you started. And this is how the one individual seabed stitch looks like. Next I showed you how you can sieve the stitches in a chain. Place the needle again on a one stitch below the place where you want to sieve. Skip one row that which you want to sieve and then sting your needle one row above. Come back to the place where you started. Next I climb one row upwards so I sting the needle through the stitch I just sieved. Now I've already created the first stitch, then skip one row and place the needle through that stitch above. Then come back to the starting point. If you would like to see multiple stitches in chain, you would just climb up one row upwards and then repeat the same. Next I sieve the small area with the black yarn. Decide the place where you want to start and sting the needle one stitch below the place where you want to sieve. Next place the needle one row above the place where you want to sieve, like this, and then come back to the starting point. And on the same stroke I overlapping the one stitch. So one stitch right and upwards at the same time. Next I sting my needle again one row above the place when I want to see it, like this, and then come back to the starting point. Next I move horizontally to the right. And then I see it again just like before. Skip one row, see, and come back to the starting point. In this way, sieving the stitches is pretty simple and easy. You can move horizontally, vertically, and overlapping. Two most important things while you're sieving stitches like this is that you keep the knitting work on a right way, same way as you knit it on a first place. If you keep the knitting upside down, you will see between the stitches you originally created, so the knitting won't look like you expected. Second important thing is to place the needle on one stitch below the stitch you want to seal. That's how you can get the sieving beautifully top of the first layer. Thank you for watching this video. 